Back to follow-up segment tonight. Did the U.S. military join with the Obama administration to deceive Americans about the Bo Bergdahl case? As you may recall, Bergdahl deserted his unit in Afghanistan 2009, June. Shortly after that, Admiral Mike Mullen, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, visited with members of Bergdahl's unit in Afghanistan. They told him that Sergeant Bergdahl was a deserter. Mullen, who retired in 2011, now says he doesn't remember much about that meeting. But in 2014, he said this. I think in these situations, you, you don't get ideal outcomes. Uh, I, I think it's a calculated risk that the president uh, took uh, and understood uh, the priority was to, to return uh, Sergeant Bergdahl to America. Well, that calculated risk was releasing five top Taliban commanders who will go back to the battlefield in about a week. But nowhere did Mullen say that he was told the man was a deserter, even though Bergdahl was portrayed as honorable by the Obama administration. So something's very wrong. Joining us on Washington with new information, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer and Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harris. All right, Catherine, what do you have for us tonight? Well, uh, since your show last week, Bill, a fifth guy has come forward, another one of Bergdahl's teammates, and he's confirmed this informal Q&A session with Admiral Mike Mullen in December 2009 in Afghanistan. And he says the same thing, that Mullen confirmed to them that he knew Bergdahl had walked off base and that he had deserted. But even more significantly, this guy shared photos with us that they were given by the Defense Department to memorialize this visit uh, with Mullen. And so now we've got uh, a date stamp on this uh, event of December 15th, uh, 2009. Bill. All right. So the, the most powerful uh, military person in the country, um, Admiral Mullen, um, did go to Afghanistan, did talk to Bergdahl's unit, because desertion isn't, isn't uh, common. And when it happens on the battlefield, I mean, everybody gets involved. But then he comes back, Colonel Schaefer, to the United States. We don't hear anything about it. And I guess that's, you know, he wouldn't hold a press conference on that. It was informal. He's gathering information. But then when the trade breaks and the White House has their dog and pony show with the parents and uh, Secretary uh, Rice comes out and says he's an honorable man right. and, and all of this stuff, Mullen, he's out of office then. He's retired then. But he doesn't say a word as a private citizen, does he? No, that's right. And even Tony Blinken, one of uh, President Obama's senior advisors, described the reporting that they received as, quote unquote, spurious. It was not spurious. And this is one of those things, this critical things, uh, uh, Bill, is that Admiral Mullen's job is to defend the equity of the Pentagon and those men who served with him. Uh, in this case, it's not his job to stand up and defend the president's policy, be it good or bad. He should be defending the truth. And that's what I find most harmful yeah, he, here. he sat it out. Right. I mean, exactly. He, uh, I just want to tell the that he's now on a board of directors of General Motors and Sprint. Uh, he's got a nice pension. He's living comfortably. I'm sure. And then all his no breaks, doubt. and you know, he could have come on the fact or anyplace else. He told, could have talked to you, Catherine, and said, you know what? Mm -hmm. I told these guys that, that, that it wasn't, uh, you know, this Bergdahl guy had problems, but he didn't say a word. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, are the soldiers that he talked to, Catherine, are they angry mm -hmm. with Mullen? They're not angry, but they really want to set the record straight. And I have to say, Bill, that we've had, unfortunately, kind of a runaround with Admiral Mullen. As you probably know, here in Washington, once these guys get out and retire, they kind of sign up for these media handlers, which unfortunately can leave the impression they're hiding behind someone's skirt, which is uh, striking to me because these are people who are in charge of the national security for this country. Yeah. And Mullen has said many times that you've got to tell the truth. And I would right. add, that in 2009, I mean, this was not a political football at that time. There was really nothing in it for, for but Admiral Mullen to deny the facts. But even if it were, even if it were look, look, mm -hmm. as a patriot, and we all have to assume that Admiral Mullen's a patriot. He served his country with honor. Okay, this is, the, I think, the worst thing on his resume. But as a patriot, mm -hmm. he has an obligation, Colonel, to step forward and say now what the situation was, who knew what, and then we can put the decision into context. Last word, Colonel. Absolutely. Well, no. I mean, him forgetting or not remembering this meeting is akin to someone investigating the Titanic and forgetting that an iceberg was involved. I mean, come on. This guy was there, and I talked to one of my sources who was there and said that there's absolutely no doubt Mullen knew every detail because we had to yeah. turn every intelligence piece on to collecting on Bergdahl's situation. Well, so we're going it's, it's, uh, to invite the Admiral on this program. Uh, I believe he is a man of honor, and I believe... I hope he does the honorable thing and steps forward and explains. Thank you very much, guys.